Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to do that. <gasps> it's too much. I'm like sweating. <laughs> Hey, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance, and today I'm joined by the women of Ohio State University. We're going to kick it off with my daughter, Ava Brzezinski, who you might have seen in some of the videos, and we're going to be joined by a few of her uh, classmates and good friends, and we are going to review some men's beards. We're going to get a take on women in their early 20s, what they think of beards, what they think of different beard lengths, and what is their preferences. You know who this is, Ava? Eric, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, Eric's beard looks good. I would honestly roll it in on the bottom. It's a little bit too... What do you think of a big beard? I think it's too much. Well, and guys our age don't have big beards. I don't think any of my guy friends even have a beard. Is it because they can't grow beards or they don't want beards? I think probably because I can't grow a beard. Okay. But So Ava, do you mind with saying how old you are? I'm 23. 23. And so um, their guy friends would be 22, 23 years old and might not be fully bearded yet. Yeah. Sorry, Eric, but I would trim yours in a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm getting like indie like artist vibes from this um i like it good hair good beard very long vibes mountain man-esque so this is eric eric is actually the founder of beer brand oh my <laughs> <laughs> eric, you have a great beard <laughs> when you see a big beard is that something that you find interesting attractive or in general or kind of indifferent so, two guys, one's bearded, one's not equally good looking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really have a big preference there. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Like, a lot of guys can't grow beards. <laughs> so what do you think of this length beard? Maybe a little too long for my taste, but I mean, it's really nice and clearly he takes care of it. When you see a guy whose beard so. isn't well groomed, what do you think? Um, Probably that he just doesn't take much interest in, like doesn't take care of himself. So do you like guys who have beards? I do, yeah. You do? <laughs> one guy has a great beard, the other one is smooth faced. Your preference would be? Probably great beard. Great beard? <laughs> well, let's take a look at the second shot. <gasps> it's too much. Too much what? Too trimmed. Too trimmed. <laughs> now he looks 23 and his mustache is too long compared to his beard. So what do you think oh of Eric? Gosh. Same he guy. So different. <laughs> I like this better. Okay. I think. I like a little shorter. Now that's a lot shorter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's the grooming on this one? This one I like better. You like better? Yes, I do. So Eric cuts his beard. This is Wait, that's him? Same guy. Yeah. Really? Whoa. Okay, his hair color looks different. It looks more ginger in the first one. He's a ginger. Oh, okay, okay. He looks a lot older in the second one, I feel like. So this is an executive beard. This is a two month beard at most. So what is your thought on a more tailored, shorter beard? Um, I mean, I am still kind of indifferent, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> If you were comparing it to the first beard, if you had to pick one of those two, which would it be? If I had to pick one, it would probably be this shorter one. So go to number three. His mustache is still too long. So this is called a beard stash. When you, uh, it might be a little long on the beard part, but when you wear a predominant mustache with uh, either stubble or very short beard, it is a beard stash. Your thought on a beard stash? I don't like it that much. It's better with this haircut than the executive or buzz. It looks less tame of a beard and mustache, so the hair should match it. I love this hair. <laughs> really? <laughs> Eric has taken a lot of flack over the years because of his uh, wearing of a mullet of some types. <laughs> and you like that? Uh, yeah, that's really in right now. I like a mullet. <laughs> Big mustache, yeah. shorter, shorter beard. I like this too. Comparison. I actually think I like this one better. Really? Yeah. I can't believe this is the same person, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like going back and forth. 
Okay. Um, I like the long hair. It looks good on him. Um, the beard is definitely a lot shorter. I like mullet looks, yeah. I think it looks good on guys and girls. So if you had to pick one view for Eric here of these three. But I would say like his hair in one or three and his beard probably in three better. Really? It looks a little messier. Or his beard in three, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I feel like each of them gives like a different like vibe and era completely. So like now, I feel like the one that we just looked at most recently is like the most in look, like in terms of like style and just like vibe and I don't know, it's in. I mean, he looks like a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, third one. That's third my one. Favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so going on in the men of beer bread, we now have Carlo. Carlos. Okay, see, so he has a big beard, but it's groomed on the sides and doesn't flare out, which I don't like when it flares out at all. You're okay with a guy having a big beard as long as it's... Tapered. <clears throat> tapered or yeah. just tame? Yeah, but this is still too long, but like it looks fine compared to... Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, as you know, might have been one of the first uh, guys, first models to be rocking a big beard back in like 2010. Um, so he is a, you know, pioneer. A pioneer, an early adopter, our Carlos. I like it. I mean, I, I, again, with the long, could be a little bit more groomed, but it's, I mean, he looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the sky, um, you would say, yeah, I would say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe it cut out a little bit, a little, a little shorter. Initial reactions. Very serious. Scraggly beard again. Very full. I don't know how long that would take to grow out. That seems very impressive. This is like a year beard. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I think it looks good. On yeah, like you speech. said scraggly though. Most guys don't want to hear that they have a scraggly beard. I don't know if that was the right <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if that was the right I was gonna say term. define your I'm not trying to be rude at all. <laughs> define your definition of scraggly then in this picture. I guess for me, like what I noticed was just like the hair is being kinda scraggly, but I mean that's just what hair does, so I don't know if that was the right So wavy term. or does, yeah, yeah, does yeah, it wavy. look does it look groomed to you? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's better. So this is Carlos wearing an executive beard. A full mustache with a shortish beard represents maybe about a three month at most growth and then probably for Carlos about two weeks. But I like this. He could trim his mustache. Why does it have to be long? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, why does your mustache have to be long? <laughs> and what do you think of his hair? It's, there's too much product, but I do like volume. It's an okay length. Okay. <laughs> Mustache could be a little shorter. <laughs> okay. But I like this length. Thing. So, what do you think of guys with uh, general with bigger mustaches? Women seem to have an opinion about that. Yeah. I mean, I liked the first guy with the little bit longer mustache. I think maybe it just depends on your face shape and. Okay. So it's not a um, non-starter for no. you. So. Okay, so this is the same, this is the same, same guy. guy. Okay, okay. Okay, lots of hair at the top. Shorter beard, yeah, I think it, I think it works. This is uh, Carlos's version of an executive beard? Well, something else I noticed is like all the tattoos, and it, I feel like with the longer beard, he kind of covers that up. So I think the shorter beard like allows all of that, like all the tattoos that he had underneath to like show a little so bit So you're more. not distracted by mm -hmm. the, uh, the beard. Right. The beard doesn't distract from the tattoos. Right, right, Interesting. exactly. Cool. I think there's like a better balance. Going on to number three. I don't like it. The <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, the haircut is fine though. I just don't like that one tapered thing. But, this uh, beard is fine. It's hard to tell too because of his tattoos, but yeah. the l mustache, even though it's thicker, it's groomed, it's shorter. So this is a beard stash again. Yeah. So this is very minimal beard, um, predominant mustache. So you like the more groomed beard. Yeah. I like this one too. So him having a big mustache is not an issue at all? I don't think so, no. This one's more groomed in this, this third picture, which okay. I think makes it look nicer. Out of all of the three, 
I think this one works the most. I like the kind of look of like the hair that's slicked back a little bit. Um, and his beard looks nice. It's mostly the stash that I notice out of everything. And I think, I think it looks nice. So a big stash is something that you don't find repulsive. No, no, definitely <laughs> not. Oh my gosh. I've never seen him with a, is this edited? No. Is he blonde? Yes. What do you think of this look? I don't really like the solo stash. I think I'd rather him just either shave and be like completely there with the stash or have the beard stash. What do you think of the curl on his mustache? The fact that it's kicking out a little bit and looking more like a handlebar? I don't think I like it on him because that's, it's hard because it, his hair is so different too in this photo. Right. It ages him to have a handlebar mustache because in my head I think about old, like back in the day. Old timey guys. Yeah. Yeah. And with the hair. Right. I mean, it looks it looks good. Probably my least favorite, but I mean, they're all really great. I can't really <laughs> say too many bad things. And that's what we say about Carlos. He can wear anything yeah. and get away with it. <laughs> when you look like that with that head of hair. Yeah. You know, with <laughs> that quality doing fine. beard, he's yeah. doing fine, yeah. Yeah, whenever I see someone with just a stash, I automatically just think like coffee barista or someone very artsy and the tattoos definitely like help with that. And I feel like there's just a lot more character with like a stash, maybe. Cause I feel like you can do like more things with it, like curling it up or stylizing it differently. But yeah, I think it looks good. Pick your favorite version of Carlos. I do like that one. You like the beard stash, right? Yeah. I still can't believe this is the same person either. I feel like probably one of the two middle ones because they aren't super distracting from the tattoos. Maybe, Maybe this one? The executive beard. Yeah, but they all look good. I don't know. Maybe three. Number three. He just has good hair. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh my God, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's DJ Greggy B. <laughs> this is a big beard. It's not as, tapered as Carlos is, but I like that it curls in instead of curling out. Eric's curls out and I don't like that ever. So that is the round brush technique brought to you by Greg Brzezinski, getting points. And I don't really like the long hair with the long beard, I don't think. It's too much hair. It's a lot of hair. It's a lot of look. Your hair's very long in this one. How long did that take to grow out? Um, that's probably about two years there. Dang. It got two and a half years in length. Okay. I would say the beard's very full, very full hair. The whole look is there. Yeah. I would say you look older in this one compared to now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of hair. I can imagine this would be hard to manage, but. So your perception when you see a guy with this much beard, this much hair, yeah. you think it's a lot. I think, like, this is impressive. I think when some guys have long hair and it's, like, kind of scraggly or just not, like, same thing we've been saying, like, not well taken care of, it just makes you think. But, like, this obviously, it's, like, you took care of it, so. Oh, my gosh, it's so short. I think that you can see, like, where the hair isn't as thick when your hair's shorter, and so it's smarter to have it longer. But also it's just like your look is to have a little bit of a longer beard, so this looks weird. It makes your neck look short. Okay, so this is like kind of what you have now, I feel like. It is a version of what I have. Yeah, I like this. I feel like it's a good length and frames your face nice. So this is my executive beard. Okay. What do you have now? Same kind of thing or a little bit longer? It's longer. Okay. If you look at the mustache, it's very trim there. Oh, yeah. And the overall length is shorter. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, this one's good. Okay. Next one. Oh my gosh. This is what you looked like. <laughs> this is like what I think of in my head when I think of like what my dad looks like. Isn't that weird? Yeah, this is what your dad looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, this looks fine because this is what I grew up with. 
But I think if someone else had this, I wouldn't like it. So this is actually my first beard. This is the first time I grew a full beard. This is short. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, I'm a fan of the... The longer, fuller beard, yeah. the longer beard. Oh my gosh, when was this from? That's about eight years ago. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this works too. It's like completely different than like, like you look a lot younger with like just less. Well, I'm a lot beard. younger. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it works. The thickness of my beard there, do you, like when you see a guy who has some, you know, thin spots, um, does that bother you when you see a guy with? I don't think so, because I feel like, I mean, everybody has different, like, I feel like growing a beard is already pretty hard as it is, or at least for some people. So unless it's like super splotchy and like, it's just not working at all for them, like maybe like don't do that. But like, I don't know. I don't think like, I didn't notice that at all looking at this. Yeah, I don't see, I did just say I wanted it to be shaven with the handlebar, which I think looks better, but I just don't think I like handlebar mustaches. It's uh, just too much of a look. Yeah, like I'd rather it look more natural, like you woke up like that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't love the handlebar mustache, <laughs> but I mean, you can pull it off. It's a lot of luck, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw this phase of my life. I wore handlebar. No. Um, big mustache for two years. I feel like this is like on brand for like what you do with like architecture and stuff in terms of like, like what I was saying earlier, I feel like anyone with like a mustache, especially that's like curled at the end is very like artistic and like, I don't know, that's just the vibe that I get. So you get a pass, I think if you're in the arts and you have this kind of mustache? Yeah, or? I think so. So when you see a guy with this type of mustache, you, you can make an assumption that you think he's an artistic guy? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a bold <laughs> assumption. <laughs> <laughs> this is making me sound bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I, we make we make assumptions when we see people. Yeah, I think. definitely. I, it's it's very not true. necessarily stereotyping, and I think part of like I think it's okay to say, okay, you look like this, and then you get to know people, and you realize, okay, I was right, or no. Yeah, people who take like time to put in effort and like their appearance is always just like, oh, I don't know. I feel like it's an expression of yourself too. So you have to pick one for Greg Brzezinski. What does he wear? I would still pick your executive. My executive beard wins, which is why I often go back to this general look. I mean, that's my beard right now. I thought it might be an inch longer. Second, for sure. The, so the executive yeah. beard wins. So that's interesting that um, in Eric's case, the, um, the shortest yeah. one, in my case, the medium, and in Carlos, this, uh, no one's picking a big, big beard so far. I feel like this, is well one what i'm most familiar with so i would say the second one from the left so there you go guys no one <laughs> likes a big beard <laughs> <laughs> was that the conclusion thanks for tuning in and until we meet again <laughs> <laughs> whoever knew sweat could smell so good i did because i've been using beard brands new deodorant grab it at beardbrand.com